Welcome to Excellence in Excel and in this video which is the third part of our advanced Excel challenge we're going to calculate now the final or one of the final parts here regarding to having the special rate or the block outtakes what we call them so what we want to do is we want to make sure that we can indicate these here so how do we do something like this if we have as you can see here there are multiple dates yes it's from 1 till 9 12 to 16 19 till 23 and this is all for April and then we have here as well for May this is to this is till 13 23 April and then 25th of May we have here as well a specific uh, extra price so what happens here is very simple this is $13 for a night so how do we add this up well very simple if we have this well, all we have to do is we have to indicate that there is a specific day and we need to use the range lookup again with VLOOKUP. So let's start with that. First of all, we're going to make a new column. We'll add this column here. We call this special days. Special days. And in the special days, all we're going to put in here, I'm just going to give this the same layout design. Special days, make this bigger. All right. And this one is well slightly bigger. That looks more nicer. So what we want to do here is simple. We want to use again a range lookup similar to this. Only then we have what we call open gaps. As you can see here in our price range, it is April from 1 till 9. But after that we have April 12 to 16. And after that we have April 19 to 23. And after that we have here May. Well, I really realize that this is not even May, this is April as well. So 24 April not, but 25th of April it is. And then we have May 1. As you can see, it's kind of hard to read here. However, this is just what it is. So we're going to do this. Let's start here. We're going to start with very basic. And we start here with the 1st of April. And what we can do here is we're going to start, of course, here with January 1 of a 16th of January because we have a starting point here if we don't have this Excel will give an error or it says not available number so we are going to keep this on and then we have to see here what is the first day that starts to be charged is the 1st of April so the 1st of April I'll just put in 1 4 if I'm correct yes and then this is 2017 so 1st of April we have and then after that we have in a new bracket of so this is till the 9th of April so the 10th of April we also have a new part so let's put that in we say here 10 for 2017 enter and I see that all these layouts and designs are becoming different so let's see if I can just get this consistent because it's a mess all right that looks slightly more better and then next what do we have here well Basically, this is zero. This one is twelve. Was it thirteen dollars? If I'm not mistaken. Yes, thirteen dollars. And then we have here from twelve to sixteen as well. So twelve. We'll see twelve April. And two thousand seventeen. Till sixteen. So meaning that seventeen is excluded. So we say here 17 for 2017. So we have here 13 again, but on 10 was 0 and on 17 was done. So what happened more is let's see. We have our a 19 to 23 and the 25th of May. Alright. So we have 19, 19 for 2017 and this was 13 and then if I'm not mistaken it was the 25th of May so I just put in the 20th oh no sorry 25th of April 25th for 2017 and then here we're going to put in what is that the 23 so 24 the 24th of April is excluded We'll put in here 0, again here 13, 
and after that we have May 1 so May 1 is also considered a charge and I and we have so 26 of April to get a normal rate so that's zero and then the first of where was that am I correct the first of May I forgot that yes the first of May is a charge and after that we have no more charges so we have the first May 2017 and the second of May 2017 no more charges all right so we've got this now and these are all dollars as well and you can see this is a large sum of um, this is a large VLOOKUP. However, we have done everything correctly, so let's start and work with this. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to say again VLOOKUP look up and open parentheses and then you have the helper. You just click here on the formula and now you will see the formula is blocking. So I'm going to remove the formula just for, the, for our demonstration purposes since I already explained it before. So you probably know how to do it, but I will explain it now just by commas. All right, so we have a lookup value. So lookup value in this case is this. This is our starting point, comma. So what is a table array? Where can we find the values? In this case, these are all our values, comma. Then we have the column index number. So where can we find, find the value that we want to extract? So if we are inserting this value, we extract these values here. So number two the second column you can see column one column two and then comma is this a range lookup number one for yes then close parentheses enter and there we are so we have this and now of course if we drag it it's still not frozen here so no absolute reference so I'm selecting both of them press F4 you can see both becomes uh, locked into place with a dollar sign enter and now double click and if we double click this and we go down to well we can go down to april or instead of that i'll just make this the 17th of january and then let's see what happens you can see now everything after that starts to increase with 13 dollars for special days everything is considered a special day so i'll just this so this means it works so i'm going to control z this and then we are going to revert back what we, we did. So undo everything, all right. There you are. So now we have it and we can see if we scroll down here, we have here exactly what we want. So we're getting very close to what we want to have. And that's interesting. So now we have this and let's see where we are now. So we already did our brackets. And we have our brackets for our triple here, or twin and triple, based on this uh, four days, three nights, or not yet. We didn't do that yet, but we have the rates for four days, three nights, but we didn't yet indicate these packages here. So now what we need to do is we need to start calculating the rates of a package. In the next video, I'll start to do that because this is based on four days, three nights, meaning that if we are overnight we start with this so it's one two three four meaning that we get all of these prices here basically this this plus that and that's what we need to consider now and need to understand how we can start to add these up because if we will sleep starting from 17 January till 20 only only we have a Friday charge and if you stay here at 16 January till 19 you don't have any charges as well except for a fixed package rate so that is what we're going to do in the next video.